prayers, fasting negative words for 40 days. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, my name is Bonnie Mansfield, and we are going to be uh, talking about words again and negative words and fasting. My subject today on this beautiful snowy day is set a guard. And our scripture is Proverbs 21:23. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from troubles. Now that is a powerful scripture. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from troubles. The key words here, guards his mouth and his tongue. The Hebrew word, I looked it up, mean, for guards means to keep. To keep watch, to have charge of, to observe, to give heed. It also means to keep within bounds or restrain as to preserve and protect. Now we can fall into the habit of belittling the power of our tongue. Not thinking it's, that it's important, the every word that we say. We so often, sometimes carelessly at times, say things that, that later we regret. I'm sure most of us do it. Psalms 141 and 3 said, Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. In other words, put your hand over my mouth. Uh, it, it talks about putting your hand over your mouth. Well, we have to do that, but first, for myself, I have to pray, Lord, put your hand over my mouth because my hand is not always reliable. Nudge me, Lord. Remind me. What we say is important. We have to remember we get what we confess. Remember that if you're speaking negative words, even if you think it's telling the truth, the negative comes to pass. Now this has been a new experience for me. I'm not a new, I'm not a new dog, as they say, but this has been a new experience for me because I thought truth was more important. But our words, I've come to find out, are seeds that become trees, and those trees will bear fruit. Some people does not like the fruit that comes from the trees of fruit, so we have to be very careful. So uh, we have to be careful of the fruit that we put off and when we put them off. Jesus said in Mark 11 and 23, and he's also in Matthew 21 and 21, but we're going to do Mark. Mark 11, 23, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thy removed, and be thy cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe though that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Now this is a very liberal. We, they, we quote this scripture and we use this scripture very liberally here in the United States. Because we believe them because we you ask and you get it, you know. But, you know, we have to remember that it's not just what we ask in God for consciously but it's what we we confess with our mouth the next scripture 24 says therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when you pray remember believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them we've got to remember therefore comes before when you pray so it's not about when you pray it's about what you say the key, that's the key here. It's, it's what you say. If you say it, you, if you're believing it, then be careful because it could happen. We've got to be careful what we say. Man, I don't, might, always, might not always make sense to, in the natural for us to guard our tongue so carefully like that. But it is very important that we do. In this day and age, we are encouraged to speak up to defend, to promote, to even get even. Because we have rights. We often get even get tired of our feelings being hurt and people taking advantage of us. But God, the Word of God says, 
in Proverbs 3.21, My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. 22, so shall that they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. 23, then shalt thou walk in thy ways safely and thy foot shall not stumble. Put your hands over your mouth. It's really important that we are careful. Guard our tongue. Therefore, James 1 and 19 says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Because not because do not because do not let your feelings woo you. We have to trust God. We shouldn't be controlled by our feelings. But that doesn't mean that all of our emotions are bad. God gave us emotions, and they are part of what makes us human. We just have to be careful that we're not led by our emotions. John 14 and 1 says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Because when we let our hearts be troubled, out of the abundance of the heart, our mouth will speak. And we will say things that we don't mean or we don't want. And, but yet it's too late. You cannot pull words back. We've got to remember, once the words are gone from us, you cannot pull them back. Uh, they are already been tasted of by whoever heard them. We have to remember uh, that, uh, sorry about my phone. Uh, James 3.10 says, Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not to be. So we have, do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. This is Joshua 1 and 8. So that ye may be careful to do everything written in it. Sorry, I cut my phone off. Written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. We show great wisdom by covering our mouth and not speaking. The only way is to cover our mouth. And we oftentimes do not have the strength, as I've already said. We have to trust God to do this for us. We have to pray and ask Him for wisdom. We have to pray for strength every day and as many times a day as needed that we can keep our soul from being troubled. Uh, this is a 40 days fasting as I spoke on Monday. Every day of the week at 10 o'clock, we have a few words, 10, 15 minutes on fasting negative words. Today on our prayer line, you can call in at 7 o'clock tonight and we will have on, at number 563-999-2833. Once again, you can call in at 7 o'clock tonight on our prayer line. It's a conference call at 563-999-2833. If you have prayer requests, we will pray over them. If you just want to join in in prayer, you're welcome to do either or both. There will be a host each day at 10 o'clock, a different host. For the next, uh, I don't know how many days we have, we're doing 40 days. Just remember to put a guard over our mouths. And prayer is the way that we can have the strength to do this. That our souls would be healthy and happy. And other people will not be hurt and offended, and we won't have regret. God bless you today, and stay warm. Cover up. Enjoy this day. God bless you. Bye-bye.